is Salita from CreatorWebsiteKit.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Premise plugin. After you install Premise, you'll notice over to the left in the WordPress menu that you have two new menu options. The first new menu option is Premise. The second new menu option is Landing Pages. You can't miss them because of the red targets beside them. Uh, we're going to start with the Premise menu option. So hover over Premise, select Main Settings. Now what we're going to do is we need to set up our basic settings for Premise, the default information. Um, so before we even start doing the default information, let's enter in our API key. So um, when you log in, when you once you purchase Premise, um, they'll send you your a the um, your login information for the members area, and in the members area is where you'll actually get um, your API key um, and all the information you need. They have a lot of educational materials to help you get started. So um, I'm just going to show you how to get this set up. So go ahead and let's enter in our API key. I'm going to paste that on in there. After you paste in your API key, you want to go ahead and let's go ahead and set up our landing page URLs. Um, you have an option of rewriting the structure, putting in whatever you want here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just use landing pages um, that have my domain name and then the slug for the actual landing page. Membership, I'm not going to talk about that because we're going to focus on the landing page aspect of Premise. But if you're looking to set up a membership area, Premise can do that for you also. The content settings, you want to set your default information. This is default. This information can be changed based on the landing page, but this is the default. Uh, so we need a default fave icon. And I'm just going to, you can upload a fave icon. And I want to show you something about when you upload it. After you upload your fave icon, or if you want to get it from your uh, media library, you want to make sure that you click use this image. Don't click insert into post because you'll go to a white screen here and nothing will happen. So just click use this image. Um, your default header image, if you want a header image, you can upload it or just put the URL for the image there. Your default header image link, if when somebody clicks on your header image, if you want them to go maybe to the home page or go somewhere else, you can put a URL there. Um, default footer text, maybe you want default footer text, you can put it here. Okay. Okay, so maybe you want to put that as your default, but again, you can change all of these the defaults um, here. You can change them on the individual landing pages. Your robots meta setter, you can set these on the individual landing pages as well. Um, turn off the fee auto detect for the page. I'm going to go on and check that because I do want to turn that off. Next up is the email providers. Um, Premise makes it easy for you to integrate your um, email provider. If you're using Aweber, you can just put in your authorization code, constant contact, you just need your username and password, MailChimp, you're going to put in your API key. Um, and if you don't, if you use Aweber and you don't know where to get that information, that this link will take you there. If you use MailChimp, you click this link and it'll take you to where you need to go to get your API key. Um, if you're using another email provider, you can just copy the form code and paste it into. Um, you'll see. I'll show you where to put that on your actual landing page. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in my MailChimp API key. Okay. And next up is sharing. Now, Premise has um, allows you to create a, 
a type of landing page where um, someone gets access to maybe a free download, a free ebook, a free theme, a free plugin, maybe an audio file, um, or maybe whatever kind of maybe access to a members area for sharing your content um, on a social network. And so you can do a simple system of doing it and or an enhanced system of doing it. Um, so if you're interested in that, check that out. Uh, next up is testing. Testing is important when it comes to your landing pages. You want to make sure that um, you want to, if you're using Google Website Optimizer, put in your code here. If you're using Visual Website Optimizer, um, put in your um, your ID there. So I'm gonna put in my um, Google code, and then down the bottom here you could put in header scripts like any scripts JavaScript um, anything you want to put in the header if you want to put something in the footer maybe you want some special tracking code to put in one of these boxes you decide put it there once you have all that set up click save changes alright so now that we have the basics set up what we want to do is we want to set up some styles so at the top of this page we're going to click on styles by default you have this little wonderful default style here if you click edit you can edit the styles you have your global styles um, global links your wrap your content area your header um, and this is just the header at the top of the page not um, the headline so here under main headline area this is where you actually have the settings for like your landing page headline your sub headline I want to create a new style so I'm gonna go to styles and I'm gonna click add new I can just click add styles or add new either way to let me add a new style um, you can also add your own buttons down here but I'll show you where they already have some buttons in here for you if you want to use those click add new one thing I want to show you is that if you scroll all the way down until you get to general settings scroll all the way down to general settings you can actually upload styles you can upload styles um, premise in their members area, I believe it's in the members area, you can access some um, styles that have already been created, some nice looking styles for your landing page. So what I want to do is I'm going to actually show you how to um, create some of these. So let's look at some global styles here. We're going to create a style. I'm going to call it simple okay so under global styles give the style a title I'm calling it simple and then we have to decide our background color if we want a background image you can do that as well Okay. All right. And what I'm going to do, crap. Okay. We're going to go down and I'm going to actually import a style. So I'm going to go to choose file. I'm going to import the style. And I'm going to click upload. And it asks you if you want to leave the page. You click yes. Okay, so now my style has been uploaded. And Okay, and notice here that in this style there's some CSS. 
already set up for me and here's the settings for the opt-in box again you can change all the settings um, for the different um, areas okay so I'm going to go on and save this style okay and so basically that's how you set up premise so just a quick recap in order to set up premise after you install it you from your menu you set up your main settings and then you set up your styles you can import styles that have already been created or you can create your own styles and that's how you set up the premise WordPress plugin if this video was helpful to you go on leave me a comment below and let me know just how helpful it was and again I want to thank you for watching this video